Dan hates him. I wear my sunglasses at night. Ain't that a different colour coat? Has he got that in more than one colour? Why is it like wet look? Uh, what? He did this like blue steel look. Uh, Hussein, yeah, like Saddam. <laughs> Racist! <laughs> <Look. laughs> you, you know, one of my favourite moments in world history is when that statue got pulled down. Uh, it's magic. <laughs> magic. Mm. Ah, the show's begun. Get out. Three fucking weeks it's like in. Spiral all over Caesar's again. Palace. <laughs> Reminds me of Spiral. Spiral. The king has arrived. That's bold. That uh, is got, bold. Are they reactions lenses? I don't know. Look, yeah, Lewis is smiling. Does he know them? I don't know. Do you think these two are gonna tell them about it's been cancelled and all that shit? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lewis, don't look bothered. Bit of an odd choice for new housemates, really. Yeah, yeah. I was expecting two sort of big hitters. Yeah, but I guess in the past, yeah. like, they've not really been big hitters. Like Lee, um, also, Sophie. We've misjudged housemates so much when they first came in. Like yeah. Isabel, yeah. Mark O'Neill. I was yeah. appalled when he went in. And look at the impact he had. Isabel was a particular surprise. Yeah, yeah, because we judged her, her look. bad. Yeah. We judged her bad. And I did apologise for that. <laughs> This week's poll for the secret viewer nomination Ooh, is now open. Rig it, rig it, guys, rig sure it. Doctor Crit tonight, rig it. Who's your favourite housemate? I don't even have one. Lol, who's my favourite housemate? Oh, Lewis. <laughs> who's my second favourite? Um, I don't have a second favourite, it's just Lewis. Oh, oh Thomas is my second favourite. Nigel, who I met at the first Big Brother house tour I ever went to, yeah. says Lewis F is unbearable these days. I can't think of a housemate that's had such a vast change of dislike, like, dislike. Like, so dislike, like, dislike. Well, I liked him all the time. Look, it's got your haircut, Gav. It's quite as well. <laughs> the back is. The back is, yeah. I thought you were going to hit me when I said that. That jacket looks like it would make you sweaty as hell, man. He's got his ear pierced as well. Oh. I like an ear piercing. Oh, Dan's it's got one. cringe. It's huge. Cringe. Oh, she looks nice, actually, Isabella. Does she? She yeah, probably she be fun. I like a posho. She looks like she's at a wedding. I like a posho. <laughs> Trevor Boris. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. Who was born? Oh, I'm looking forward to live feed later now the new housemates have gone in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tweet that. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot we've still got to do the whole day. <laughs> I'm drunk as well. I mind you, it'll probably help. Oh, All right, let's home? pause. This is the final call for Big Brother Airlines Flight 2018 to China. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh. The professionalism seeps in. <laughs> okay, so past the eviction, rest in peace, Isaac. And we've met, oh, gone we, too soon. We've met the two new housemates, thingy and thingy. <laughs> and <laughs> we are now back, going back in time, back through the space time continuum, <laughs> as if as if the Langoliers were eating time itself, and back to Thursday. The who? The, the Langoliers. What's that? It's a Stephen King film with very good special Fucking effects. Hell. 
now and they're on a plane too so Did you, were you disappointed that there were no like snakes on the plane or something ridiculous in this I wanted a plane crash I wanted <laughs> to be like lost <laughs> or like alive where like half the plane comes off the back <laughs> sadly it was not to be I'm not doing it big brother okay so the airline task began mm. Why was that toilet so big on the airplane? <laughs> <laughs> that was the one thing that broke me out of the... And the, the aisle. The aisle was wide very as wide. hell. Yeah. No aisle is that Also, wide. one wall was flat and the other one was concave. It was a good set, though. How, it was great. How much they spend on that? I think that's the most money they've put into a task mm. for a long time because you've got to buy, like, airline seats and mm. two first-class seats. They don't come cheap. CGI for the uh, yeah. outside uh, no, that was real. shots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um... The uniforms were good. So how did they choose who to be the air ho- uh, not air, air hostess, hostess cabin like crew? The way you dress. Cabin um, crew is the who? How Big Brother decided, no? Yeah. So it was do. Thomas, Zoe, and Sean. Sean, the only good thing she's done. Uh, does actually look like an air hostess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she has the personality for it too. She does. Um, and the boobs. Race, I mean, <laughs> sexist. It's <laughs> about her boobs. <laughs> um, I Thomas looked, got the boobs for it too, though. Yeah, Thomas looked good. I liked his red lipstick. They all had the same lipstick on it. It was nice. They looked good as well. Did this episode start first thing? That's it. Yeah. Boom, we're going to the top. Of course, task. you wake up like, uh, you know, Steps was on. <laughs> Steps? Yeah, they got a song about being on a plane, I think. <laughs> um, it was on Bots yesterday. So then uh, Isaac and Brooke got upgraded to first class. Oh, uh, by whose decision? The air hostess's yeah. decision. I said, decision. <laughs> I said that decision, I said that that should have been available to buy with big coins. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. And it would have been better to do the auction. Therefore, especially on the way back, if Lewis, Lewis F really felt some kind of way about sitting in the economy, <laughs> he could have bankrupted himself mm. in big coins to get in first no, class. No, because we don't want Lewis F to... Ba- also, on. why didn't first class get, like, unlimited alcohol? Like a real first class. Also, are them new housemates <laughs> going to have any Bitcoin? Oh, Big yeah. coins. They're behind, aren't they? Yeah, they need to, like, raid some piggy banks. So, <laughs> I'm well drunk now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, it was a five-hour flight to China. Apparently, That's not true. it takes, what, 11 hours? If not 12, 13. Mm. I think it's about 12 hours to thailand mm. and i think maybe 11 hours on the way back have you been to china no i've been to taiwan mm. taiwan and i've been to hong kong uh, and thailand and thailand well you're talking about my entire asia mm. tokyo mm. been to tokyo been to vietnam been to cambodia goodness yeah i've been around it's steven good have you even not been to asia have you have you no. <laughs> I've been to Africa, though. Have you? Yes. Where, Morocco? Egypt. Egypt? Mm-hmm. Is that Africa proper? Yes, it is Africa. Isn't North Africa? It's Africa! It began in Africa. <laughs> ka, ka, ka. Anyway, so is the plane juddering? So is, is the plane juddering or is the camera juddering? You've the got plane, to look at the poll. The, the poll, the results we did a poll. In, They've been counted and verified by Twitter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I can now reveal... There's one hinky vote from me. <laughs> <laughs> that uh-huh. the viewer poll says... How many votes were there first off? I'm just feeling dead air now. Uh, uh, dead there were, air, crackle, there were crackle, crackle, crackle. an incredible... It was an unprecedented mm-hmm. 71 votes That's good. on this poll. I, I'm impressed with that. I said, I think the BB Airlines plane actually vibrates. At Light Up VM doesn't. So which is it? It totally shakes... Or no, it fucking doesn't. Mm -hmm. Now, an incredible 54% of people Mm -hmm. believe, no, it fucking doesn't. Yeah. (laughs) But I was one of those extra votes. So still I won. Still, yeah. Hmm. So, they just made does them that all confirm jiggle. that I'm wrong to you? Yeah, of course. You didn't need to confirm it via Twitter. I don't so, need their, their validation. So they've added a little after effect of the vibrate with the Yeah, and they've said the to the suite. people just to yeah. go like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Lewis F didn't bother on the yeah, way back. Yeah, of course. He ain't, he ain't got time for that <laughs> shit. Um, so... I, so to, I, when, when... I genuinely thought it might be like a simulator, like that spaceship they got those people into. Bitch, please. With George Lamb at the helm. Oh, fuck George Actually, Lamb. it was Johnny Vaughan. Oh, God. 
That's going back. What was that called? No, that thing where Dermot's pretend they went to space. Well, that was the sleeping one. That was shattered. No. Well, what was the song where they pretended they went to space? Yeah, the one where Johnny Vaughan presented it. Was that Johnny Vaughan? Yeah. That was a good show. It was really and good. And then when they got back, they it. were like, oh, fuck, we didn't. <laughs> Imagine if Lewis F was part of that, he'd been so embarrassed, he'd been well pissed off. That shattered one was also good. He though. was annoyed that he packed a bag for China. Yeah. <laughs> that shattered one was also shattered good. Shattered was so they, good. They almost started like tripping, didn't they? Yeah. The lack of sleep, it was good. Shattered needs to come back. That was really that was good. So good. That was really and good. And it was like, if you fell asleep, the time went. Ding, 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 yeah. ding, 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 I think ding. You, I think you can still watch that on a on four player or whatever it's called. Four player. Uh, really? Yeah, you can watch all four. it. Yeah, you can watch it. Because you can watch all the old street mates as well. Okay, Big Brother fans, if you yeah. don't know what shattered is yeah, Dermot did this little splinter reality show mm. it lasted a week I think and the contestants mm. had to stay awake for a whole week and whoever could stay awake the longest won basically and they had a load of tasks and stuff to test their alertness as the days went on yeah but they did let them sleep for like tiny little bursts like 20 minutes here and there did they yeah they had to for like health and safety reasons oh, really? yeah they had a little because think about it you can't you just couldn't. So they all started to go mad. They all started tripping right. out. I seem to like remember. Hallucinating. So, like, you were eliminated if you fell asleep for, I think, 10 seconds. Yeah. If you closed your eyes for 10 yeah. seconds, that counted as sleep. And yeah. they would count down. Yeah. It was so good it watching them really just go. It was really good. It was really good. Yeah, I'm pretty I sure. I would watch that again in a heartbeat. I would too. We should do a pod about it. Yeah. That would be good, actually. Off season. It was really good. Check that out. Um. Anyway. So as the plane took off, Kian said, oh, make sure your phone's on airplane mode. I thought that was quite funny. Uh, the plane reminded me of the plane of Criminal Minds. And then Renfro said, because it's got a plane that goes up in the sky like that, yeah. like wheels up in 20. And then Renfro told me there's a new series of Criminal Minds out now, which I didn't know. So there, That's useful information from right Big Brother. Right over my head. Wow. Um, that CGI though, when the plane looked like it, <laughs> when it was going up, it looked like it just materialised. It's like that, faded in. Is that even CGI? <laughs> like a cartoon or a toy or something? Um, so Kian and Cameron were going, oh, it's our honeymoon. Oh, this is how it started. Uh, Why was um, Cameron acting the husband doing a girly voice? They were like, Kennedy was like, how long have you been together? And then he was like, "Uh, 10 days. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, he was talking like that. He's going all coy. Mm. I guess that's his idea about homosexuality. Um, so Lewis didn't have anyone sitting next to him. I was thinking, oh, I'll sit next to you, Lewis. Don't you worry, I'll hold your hand. Where was the pilot in that cockpit? Who was the pilot? Big Brother. The, big, the voice of Wendy, wasn't it? Mm, wash him, wash him. <laughs> Wendy. Wendy was flying the plane. Wendy don't talk like that. That's Rodrigo. How does Wendy talk? Yeah, I'm flying the plane. <laughs> you don't sit down, fasten your seatbelts, mobile phones off. No, today that was like, oh, oh, this is Big Brother Airlines. I'm your captain speaking. It's like a woman. Yeah, but she's the voice of Wendy as well. Oh. She sounds a bit like Fern Cotton. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, Lewis didn't have anyone sitting next to him, so... For some reason, there was a baby on board. I can't remember the backstory, but really. But Akeem why. just went like, oh, lucky there's not a baby on board. Yeah, and, I was, yeah. and I was like, did Big Brother tell Key him cards. to say that? And next minute, Sean's called to the cockpit, which is basically the diary room, and is furnished with baby Bao Bao. Didn't you think that was kind of cool that they made the cockpit like the diary room? I thought yeah, that was really was good. good. Really good. And the CGI in the cockpit was quite funny, too. Or the Although, backdrop. it might have been better if it was the airline toilet, like a little toilet. Oh, like yeah, a little plastic built-in one. Yeah, but what if they need the toilet? Because I sometimes feel like, when I'm on a plane, I do feel like the airline toilet is a bit like a diary room because it's like the only place you can escape all those mm. people out there. You just get a few minutes to yourself. I'm on a plane. Yeah, but can you really have sex in an airplane toilet? I don't think you can. It's too small. Some of them bigger than others. I mean, look at the one on Big Brother. Yeah, an orgy true. in there. <laughs> <laughs> so... When they give Lewis his baby... Would you have sex in a plane? I wouldn't. No, I think it's disgusting. Um, Would you be worried about the rutting causing a bit of turbulence? No. (laughs) I just don't agree with it morally. Like, it's... It's not sexy. It was kind of like an ultimate fantasy, though, isn't it? Was it the Mile High Club? If you're on, like, a private jet or something and you're in first class and you do it under a blanket, fine, but not in the toilet. That would be nice, wouldn't it? In a flat Yeah, not in the toilet. Have some decorum. Um, (laughs) Have you ever done anything sexual on a plane? No. Have you? Maybe. Have you? What? Definitely put my hand down my partner's pants. Was there a blanket over you? N- no. What? No. I hope there was no one sitting next to you. There was. There was. Did they notice? Possibly. That is inappropriate. <laughs> That's disgraceful. You should have got thrown and off. No one reached any sort of climax. But just a little, I should a fucking little, hope a not. Fondle. With someone sat next to you. That's disgusting. 
uh, police, call the police now. They may, may still <laughs> be able to arrest him. What no. airline was it? <laughs> BB Airlines. <laughs> BB Airlines, that's yeah. rude. <laughs> <laughs> that is disgusting. No, Jack's scared of flying, so he can't deal with it. <laughs> can't get it up. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not it. No. <laughs> Shut up. Um,